Mr. Vice Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you Imtiaz Ismail Suleiman with a request that you confer on him the degree Doctor of Science Honoris Causa. The decision by Council and Senate to award him this degree has been taken on the grounds of the following considerations. Dr. Imtiaz Ismail Suleiman and his organization Gift of the Givers have become synonymous with hope and relief in South Africa and across the globe. An MBCHB graduate, Dr. Suleiman's first experience of humanitarian, humanitarian aid followed a visit to a drought-stricken Mozambique as a member of the Islamic Medical Association. Alarmed by what he observed, he returned home and raised one million rand in five days, enough to draw 30 boreholes and supply the Mozambican authorities with malaria medication. Two years later, in 1992, he established Gift of the Givers, which has since become the largest non-governmental organization in Africa. Its objective is to serve people of all races, all religions, classes, political affiliations, and of any geographic location, and to do so unconditionally with kindness, compassion, mercy, and respect for human dignity. Funded entirely by ordinary South Africans' donations, the organization started out by tackling the Bosnian conflict. Here, Dr. Suleiman delivered 780 tons of food, clothes, and blankets, and developed a unique, completely self-sufficient, 130-bed containerized mobile hospital. With little international support, he sold his home and cashed in his life policies to have the hospital commissioned. He went on to create similar containerized primary health care clinics, which he placed in rural areas in South Africa and Malawi to provide easy access to care. Thomas and here in our Bosnia, Dr. Imtiaz Ismail Suleiman in his gift of the Givers Organisatie, so a good name created that the South African regering die group nader for a voorstel over what the best manier zal wees om 400 miljoen randse kostpakjes vir arme mense te bied. En Gift of the Givers het onverweild hulle bystand aangebied. In die jare daarna reageer Gift of the Givers op die een internationale ramp na die ander en voorsien hoedzakelike bystand. Byvoorbeeld gedurende vloede, aardbevings, vulkaanuitbarstings, bomaanvalle, burgeroorloe en hongersnoed. Hiervoor reis hulle onder meer na Mozambik, Indie, Zuid-Sudan, Somalië, Gaza, Haiti en Libië. Tegen 2014 is Dr. Suleiman so bekwaam in die onderhandeling en die hantering van die bureaucratie dat hij een kernrol vervul het om Pierre Korki van die Al-Qaeda militante te bewee bevry. Die poging wordt ongelukkig op die nipperkie in die wielegerij. Always seeking to provide improved aid. Dr. Suleiman has also established the Education Support Program, the Jumpstart Entrepreneurial Program, and partnered with his wife, Zora, to found CareLine. He collaborated with the international company DuPont to develop Sibusisu, a supplement providing disaster-stricken populations with essential micronutrients, which has since achieved excellent results in clinical trials. Awards recognizing his remarkable achievements include the President's Order of the Star in 1993, the Order of the Boabab in 2010, and an award from the Pakistan President Pervez Musharraf in 2006. Dr. Suleiman's quest to improve people's faith, often risking his own safety, his perseverance in the face of multiple challenges, and his ability to inspire others to be of service to his fellow man, Mark A. deserves Stellenbosch University's highest honor. Mr. Vice Chancellor, I thereby request you to confer the doctor, the degree Doctor of Science, DSC Honoris Causa, on Imtias Ismail Suleiman, for having established the gift of the givers as a renowned vehicle of hope and relief, for skillfully harnessing his medical training to improve disaster stricken and vulnerable people's fate, and for his leadership in inspiring others to follow suit and to serve society.
I hereby confer on you Imtiaz Ismail Suleiman, the degree Doctor of Science, honoris causa. Professor Wim de Villiers, staff and senate of Stellenbosch University, fellow degrees, Professor Peter Jones and Professor Andre Nell, parents and students, congratulations on the 100th anniversary of this great institution. I know it's great through personal experience for the medical members of your university that have joined my teams in disaster regions across the world. I'm really honored to be honored by this university by the Senate and the people of this town. It is about building race relationships, looking across color, race and religion, looking across culture. But I will be failing in my responsibility if I don't thank and remember today a great teacher on the 6th of August 1992 in Istanbul in Turkey on the th Thursday night who told me in fluent Turkish and I don't understand a word of Turkish, but I understood every single word that he said, because he explained to me later on, when the hearts connect and the souls connect, the words are understandable. And the message he gave me, he said, my son, I'm not asking you, I'm instructing you to form an organization. The name in Arabic will be Wakful Waqifin. Translated, it means, gift of the givers. You will serve all people of all races, of all religions, of all colors, of all classes, and of all cultures, of any political affiliation, and of any geographical location. But you will serve them unconditionally. You will not expect anything in return, not even a thank you. Remember that in what you're going to do for the rest of your life, expect to get a kick up your back. If you don't get a kick up your back, regard it as a bonus. Serve people with love, kindness, compassion, and mercy. And remember, the dignity of man is foremost. So if somebody is down, don't push them in the ground further. Hold them and lift them up. Wipe the tear of a grieving child. Caress the head of an orphan. Say words of good counsel to a widow. These things are free. They don't cost anything. Clothe the naked, feed the hungry, and provide water to the thirsty. And in everything that you do, be the best at what you do. Not because of ego, but because you're dealing with human life, human emotion, human suffering, and human dignity. Now go back home. This is an instruction for you for the rest of your life. And remember my son, Best among people are those who benefit mankind. And my emphasis is on the word mankind, he said. And the most important point of all, he said, my son, remember that whatever you do is done through you and not by you. This doctorate is not for me. It is a recognition of my family my children, my staff, and South Africa. Because without you, we could have never done it. The medical teams, the search and rescue teams, the volunteers, the donors, even from the smallest of schools, the academic institutions, the media, and the government. And this recognition is actually a recognition of your own Ubuntu, your own spirituality, your own good-heartedness, and your own generosity. People, this is a great country. It is great to be South African. Never forget that. Thank you very much.